Hi, I'm Lee from Jaw Physio in Perth, Western Australia. Clients often email me saying my jaw's dislocated or my scans say that my jaw is dislocated. What does this mean? If the jaw is dislocated, you'll be stuck at all the way open or all the way shut and you won't be able to talk. And this might last for quite a long time. So in a couple of hours, you really need to go to hospital so they can relocate your jaw joint. If the disc is inflamed or displaced or dislocated, your jaw will be painful and you'll have a bit of restriction with opening, even if it's just a little bit. This is an indication that it's the disc. You can have pain with clunking and clicking as well and creaking, and this is where the disc is inflamed. The disc is similar to the discs in between the spinal joints, except they're a little bit smaller and it sits on the lower jaw joint, the mandible, and it helps the two bones slide over each other as you open and close your mouth for talking. It can inflame when the normal clench reflex at night increases. So it's normal to clench at night, everyone does it, but it does increase and it swells the disc and can lead to joint inflammation called synovitis. An increase in the clench reflex is usually due to medical conditions such as sore guts, um, restricted airflow like sinusitis, rhinuritis, colds, flus, thyroid conditions, stress, many other medical conditions. And very rarely is it due to just muscle tightness. There's always an element of inflammation, just like any other part of the body. So the best thing to do is to ice it for about 20 minutes right where the ear meets the jaw. You can put the ice pack on for 20 minutes once or twice a day and take anti-inflammatories for a week. If it doesn't settle down within three days, you need to see a jaw physio. Now, a jaw physio is someone who only treats the head and jaws and neck. You want to make sure that the physio only treats this. People who dabble in the area and treat the whole body really have enough expertise as it's a specialty area and you don't want them making you worse or just not helping at all. A night splint is often needed and you know that your dentist has extra training in this area if they suggest a lower splint that's thick and hard and this will help reduce your clenching and reduce the pain with the TMD and the bruxism. If you're only grinding and you have no jaw pathology or pain, the upper splint's fine. There is no evidence saying why you need an upper and a lower for the different types of conditions, but we see it clinically that clients get more headaches, more jaw pain if they continue to use their upper splint. And when you have both the clenching and the jaw joint, you need the lower splint. Thanks for your time.